looks amazing. Very. How wacko is that? Because it's so tall. Okay, so real quick, uh, the number one question, right? Why? I know why. I, it needs to be done. I mean, it's amazing. It's beautiful. It's so dark. It's, it's awesome. But why did you do it? Why did you build it? I don't know. I mean, uh, that's a hard question to answer. Think so? I think so. Yeah, I mean, it why? Needs to be done. Right, why? 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 Need to be an eye? why or whatever? Yeah, yeah, why, why? Why not? Why do yeah, anything? You bet. You, bet. Oh. you know, someone had to do it. Biggest problem with it? Problem? Yeah, biggest the thing you got to be most careful of. I don't like it. I don't want to overheat it. Yeah, I uh, So I don't drive it in the middle of the day. Yeah. Um, it's pretty heavy, I guess. It's 7,500 pounds. Holy crap. Yeah. Whoa. Gas guzzler. I get about 11 miles to the gallon. It's not um, bad, actually. No, I mean, it's like, it's like an SUV or something. Yeah. It's like an awesome, it's, it's the best, best SUV, SUV ever. ever. I want, you should do like, you should like have a school bus service or something. Oh, it's take kids through like, like yeah, help skelter and take them to the school. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, I've done a wedding. Uh, Did you? Yeah, and I've actually done one funeral. Did you? Yeah. Uh, well, it was before I started decorating the car. I did the funeral in the hearse. Um, but I plan on doing I'd like to do more That's amazing. What a tremendous amount of work. This is holy shit. Okay, cool. Thanks. All right. Cool. School is Hello. And welcome to Cooking with Sean Kennedy. It's uh, really imperative when you go out in the desert and you're as hungover as I am that you eat. If you don't eat, you will starve to death and become much like this talcum powder. So, when going into an extreme rave style party situation in the middle of the desert with a bunch of people dressed like chickens and drive around on large horses, it's imperative that you maintain a consistent diet. Otherwise, you run the risk of not having anything to yak, and that would be bad. For my particular choices on this particular Operation Burning Man, I chose to go with Canadian Forces IMP bags. IMP standing for Improvised Meal Pack, or as the Army likes to call it, I Might Puke. But, you know, if you've got a mother who cooks like mine, the IMPs are not that bad. The nice thing about an IMP bag is it's a complete meal solution. You get your bag, you uh, take your utility knife, because God knows you've got a good knife, right? which has been going through some shit. So, uh, my utility knife is really dull because I've been using it. Inside the IMP packs, you open it up and there's a wonderful thing to greet you. They usually have a candy of some type. I'll pull it all out here, strip her down. This is what's on the front. Now on the front of the IMP bag, it tells you what it is. It's a supper, usually a launcher supper. And the date on the IMPs is good for five years from this date. So this particular one's here is good till 2003. This is a full bag here. This guy here has promised a salisbury steak. Along with every entree, you get a dessert as well. Sliced peaches is this one. Now, that's cool on its own, but wait, there's more. You also get some bread that's good for five years. Don't think about it too much. It'll be okay. Then we got, oh, it's usually a grab bag. I got instant banana pudding, which is just kind of frightening, really. What else do I get here? I got some cup of noodle soup, lemon citrus drink. I got some jam for my bread. I got instant mashed potatoes. Now all this shit you can just use by eating like you don't need a cup or a canteen or fuck all. They give you everything you need to survive. No cooking utilities, none of that shit. You can eat it cold. Now along with this you get they even go so far as to give you some ketchup. 
and your spoon. Okay. Now, in the field, what you do is there's a lot of this shit you're never ever going to eat. Oh, moist towelet, which by the way, these fucking things rule in the desert, okay? These things are the shit. So you got your spoon and all that stuff. Now, if you're going into the field or you're packing around the city or whatever and you can't afford to take a great big bulky fucking unit like this, you field strip it, okay? What you do is you take all the stuff that you're going to eat right out of the bag, which is essentially just these two packages here. And you uh, rip open the cardboard. Once you rip open the cardboard, inside you have a foil bag. Now the nice thing about these things, this is the sliced peaches here. And over here we got the, uh, whatever the fuck it is, Salisbury steak and mushrooms. Okay, you take it, cracker open. You got the two bags. Now that takes up considerably less space. Now, how are these things made? They're too fucking easy. Nice thing about these things is that you do not include any water. I say again, you do not put in any water. You could piss in a bucket, heat it up, and cook this meal. It is already pre-cooked. It does not need to be cooked. Okay? But, should you desire to cook the meal, all you do is get any kind of fluid, could be anything. I don't recommend pissing in a bucket, but you could in an extreme circumstance. You need a hot meal and you're going to die. Okay? But if, you're that, if it's that brutal, then try to get some snow or something. But anyway, any fluid, ditch water, you fucking name it. Submerge the foil bag in there, boil the foil bag, you heat it up, she's good to go. If you're in the field and you've got no time to, you know, to, to cook your meal or whatever, you got to remember, number one, when you're camping, it's not food, it's fuel. The way these things work, you take them, grab them along the edge, you can tear them. You don't even have to have a knife with these fucking things. Okay? Open her up, and inside we have this very yummy looking, yummy, mmm, look at that. Doesn't that look good? Mmm, 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 yes. I am peas or your friends. And you stick your plastic spoon in, which came provided. And you eat this shit cold. Tastes a lot like dog food. But you know, bottom line is it makes the pain stop. Well, the number one winner there, though, is though, the shit you will pack is these little fucking jewels right here. They come in every pack. This is the best part of them. That's right instant coffee. Now, a lot of people don't know that instant coffee actually can, contains more caffeine than regular coffee. So if you're just going for caffeine high, get the instant coffee. Now, there's nothing official been sanctioned about these things, but I'm here to tell you this stuff is like crystal fucking meth, okay? This stuff here speeds you up so fucking fast, holy crap. What we used to do is we used to make these things called ranger coffees, where you take these you crack it open, you take a can of Coke, and you dump the contents of the pack inside the can of Coke, and you drink it. it. Tastes like 10 tons of shit. But, baby, you are tracking 15 targets at once standing on top of your carrier, let me tell you. So if you're going to field strip these things down, you strip it down to the packs, you cram these in your side pocket here, like so. You can usually take about two meals, maybe even three meals with you. Desserts are good for, like, a treat, quick pick-me-up, getting low on fluids, whatever. And you usually take the instant coffee because just about everyone's got hot water at their disposal. Pan bread's good, but it's kind of a luxury. Time like this, it's all right, because let's be real. You don't want to be spending all your time cooking when you're out here in the middle of fucking whatever the hell it is you're doing. Chasing around giant chickens in a hearse. So that's uh, Cooking with Sean. Turn in next week where, you know, I uh, take on Iron Chef Japan with mystery ingredient of flammable.